just stretch up and down and sideways and around. And you know, yoga, what do they name their poses after? They name them after cars? Animals, right? Have you ever heard of a cat? Yeah. Move in yoga? And a camel? And a dog is going to do all that stuff. Okay, first we stand up really straight. And this one isn't an animal, this is mountain pose. So look down at your toes, make sure they're pointing forward. Okay, tighten up those leg muscles. Okay, now bring your heart up. Now bring your shoulder. That's so cute. These kids are so cute. <laughs> okay, when you breathe in, bring your shoulders up. Push them all the way back. Tuck them right into your back pockets. Can you do it again? When you breathe in, excellent. Hi, I'm Kathy Skrowski, and I came into the Spring Lake Library today to do some yoga with the kids. We did all kinds of animal poses because they're so limber and strong and willing to try anything. Keep holding it. Yes. Stretch. See if you can be taller than when you walked in the room. Are you taller than when you came in the room? That's exactly what we want. Stretch. Okay. Nice job. All right. And then bring it out like this. All right. Okay. Now put one foot back. Do that. All right. One foot back. Nice job. And can you bend your front knee? There you go. Can you put your hands right here? This is called this powerful pose. Can you feel that? Excellent. Your front leg is bent. And then stretch. Stretch. Can you make your arms stretch even longer? And longer. Excellent. Yeah. Warrior two. Powerful pose. Stretch. Stretch. So she go right over your head. Don't move. And when I walk around, only the yoga teacher gets to walk around. Everybody else has to stretch. Beautiful. Turn your palm to the floor. Exactly like that. Put your hands right here. Oh my goodness. You guys, that was smart to do it together. Yeah. So then you can turn your knee out to the side and put your foot right there. So what we're going to play is the lumberjack. So right now all of the lumberjacks are sharpening their axes and they can't see the trees. So you can move, but as soon as you turn around, say stop. Stop, 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 stop. Can you go like that? Sit down. Bring that leg over. Pretty good eagles, you guys. Point to the ceiling. Nice job. Nice job. So you have to let your head fall back. Well, don't pretend it really is heavy. It's between 8 and 12 pounds. And we'll just figure that everybody in this room is really smart, so their brain's about 12 pounds. 